Welcome back everyone to Legend Killer 23's Toy Room. We're here to do a review. We have to open up some boxes as we're getting so close to WrestleMania 36. I wanted to go ahead and open up this set and finally bust out the referee. Uh, so we have the WrestleMania 36 set with the special logos for WrestleMania 36. And speaking of WrestleMania 36, uh, it is upon us in the next couple weeks. And with the coronavirus, if you're home, by the way, you do have coronavirus and you're watching my videos, thank you for watching still while you're sick. Um, and everyone else out there, just be very careful. Wash your hands. Do all the things that the media is telling you to do because we don't want anybody dying. All right. Anyway, let's open up some toys. Let's get into it, guys. As usual, we're going to open these up and show you what we got and see how they look. And then we're going to throw them up on the shelf. All right, guys. Thanks again for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe while you got a second. Don't forget, if you hit the notification bell on the side, you will also get these videos as soon as I drop them. I'm usually doing about two to three videos a week. It depends on whether I'm toy hunting or just reviewing some stuff that I have in the box that I'm opening or giving out some news. If you follow me on Instagram at RKO for life 23, you will see the things that I post as far as videos and pickups and um, suggestions, uh, ways to help you guys save money and where to go to get your stuff. All right, guys. So as usual, let's get into these and let's throw it up. All right, everyone, let's get into these. Uh, let's open these up. We're going to leave Kofi for last and I'm going to tell you right now why. So Kofi Kingston is part of this set, but Kofi Kingston only comes with an extra set of hands for the Builder Ref, as you can see right here. Um, so we don't really need to open him. If you want to keep Kofi Mint on card, you can. I'm going to go ahead and open him because I want to display him on the shelf. But yeah, you don't have to keep him. You don't have to open him. You can open up just these three and you can still build the ref. But let's leave Kofi down there for last. And let's start with King Booker. All right, let's go ahead and open him up. Uh, Booker T, man, he's my guy. I love Booker T. Uh, one of my favorite wrestlers uh, from the WWC areas and, of course, WWE era. Um, love that he's doing some commentating and some things for WWE still. And uh, let's go ahead and open him up. Let's see what he's got. He comes with the pieces for the Builder figure right here. So we're going to show you those. Let's open them up and take them out the box. All right, everyone, let's start with the accessories. Here you go. You got the ref, Dangerous Danny Davis. And as you can see, you get the legs. All right, the torso part is going to be separate, um, regular standard legs. They got pretty good movement on them, too, so they're pretty nice and solid. Uh, nice to have a ref in the collection if you don't have one already. I'm sure most of you guys do already for your collection. Um, here is the arms, pretty solid arms. Uh, same thing, they're just going to pop in. And we got this one right here as well. Good movement on them also, not too loose, not too tight, which is great. So we'll go ahead and stick those on. So let's go ahead and put those to the side, and let's get into the figure. Dun, 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 dun. I don't have the music playing in the background, but here's your Booker T. Um, what can I say about this figure? It just looks great. His body type is great. I think everything is the right fit, the arms, the legs. Booker T was in some great shape when he was in uh, his younger age. And this is definitely a younger Booker T, obviously, with the shorter hair. I would say this is very close to the time when WCW came over to WWE. And he just came in and he had that rivalry with Stone Cold. It was so great. Uh, that fight in the supermarket is definitely one of my most uh, funniest moments of WWE ever. So here we go with the five-time champion, WCW champion. And he's got the tattoo on the side right there. He's got Booker T on the shorts on the back. You got the front with the fire. Um, Booker T on the boots. Both boots right there. Looking really good. And of course, you can pose him in many different ways. Most of the time, he's doing something like this and then into something like that and then back up again. So there you go. There's Booker T. He looks awesome, guys. I think it's just a great uh, figure to have if you don't have one of these already. I know he's had some elites in the past, um, but this one is just a great, great looking one. I can't say enough about it. I really do like this one. It's probably my favorite out of the entire set. So there's your Booker T. Let's get into the next figure. Okay, next we have Matt Hardy, Woken Matt Hardy, of course, uh, the gimmick that he was using in WWE when he came back. Um, I love it. I think it was great. The only thing I would say about this outfit um, is I probably would have rather seen it in a black, but I know he did wear this on TV. So we do have the Matt Hardy here. Matt Hardy comes with the head um, for the dangerous Danny Davis referee. And let's go ahead and open him up and let's see what he looks like. All right, guys, let's start with the only accessory that he comes for the referee is the head. And there it is right there. Of course, it's just one of those pop on ones. If you want, you can put them on a wrestler body and make them into a wrestler. But you have the head right there for the body. So we're almost complete there. Let's get into Matt Hardy himself and the figure. Guys, here you go. Woken Matt Hardy. On the back of the jacket, it says House of Hardy. There you go. It's pretty flexible, pretty light, probably easy to take off. We'll take it off and see what it looks like so we can get a little bit more details on the pants. 
There he is with the jacket off, with the classic uh, Matt Hardy pants, you know, the baggy kind of jean type of pants that he has in most of all his toys. Um, occasionally, you will see him with some tights and some of his older figures, but uh, this figure reminds me it's very similar to the other figure that we have, um, the Matt Hardy version one, the SummerSlam uh, Elite. Looks very similar to the body and everything. Uh, of course, the hair is a lot different. This style is what he's rocking right now. Um, so you get a couple sets of hands in there to kind of do different things like delete. And then uh, there he is. So looks really cool. Matt Hardy. Love him. I uh, love the jacket. Love the gimmick all together. So we're going to go ahead and put that on the shelf right next to all the other Matt Hardys. What do you guys think about this so far? This set is pretty good. I mean, you got to admit, out of the four, it's four for four for me. Um, it's Matt. It's Mick Foley, Matt Hardy, Kofi Kingston, and Booker T. I think were all great figures that I definitely wanted in my collection. Um, I didn't have any Kofis. I didn't have any Mick Foley's, and I didn't have any Booker T's. I do have two Matt Hardys. So um, this is my third one, and I love it. All right, guys, let's go on to the next figure. We'll throw the jacket back on here because we're going to get ready to put them on display on the shelf. Okay, third figure. Here we go. Mick Foley. Everybody loves Mick Foley. Mick Foley's had tons of figures in his career. Um, this was the last one for me to pick up. I was on the fence about getting this one. Um, he does come with the body for the ref, so I did need it uh, to complete it. But um, I didn't... I didn't love the figure, but I didn't hate it either. I thought the set was really good altogether. But you know what? I needed to have this one in the collection since I did not have any of the McFoley's. And I didn't want to go back and buy any of the older ones. Um, and I got this for a good price. I only paid $15 for it. So I ain't complaining. I know it's been out for a while. Um, but I got all of these figures actually from Walmart and Target. So I didn't pay any kind of like resale price over $20. Bucks. Each one of them I paid anywhere between $15 and $19. So I ain't complaining. I did get them a lot later than everybody else, but I got them. All right, let's get into the figure. Let's go ahead and look at them. Okay, guys, here you go. Bang, bang. You got the ref body. So we're almost ready to complete. We're going to put that together at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Don't forget to leave your comments below if you picked up this and if you got the whole set. If you did, if you didn't, what's your favorite? I want to know about it. So we'll leave that off to the side, and let's get into the figure. And here he is, the man, the myth. Mrs. Foley's baby boy, Mick Foley. Let's see. Kind of looking at this for the first time. He looks great. Um, I think the details are pretty good on it. Very up to scale for what he looked like and what kind of outfits he was wearing. It looks like this shirt does come off. And the shirt underneath also does not come off. So you got that on there for good. So you can't really update him with any kind of new outfits. But you know what? This is a classic Mick Foley figure with the bang bang fingers. And we'll kind of keep him just like that. Um, so... What else can I say about this? It looks really good. It looks really nice. It's great on display. I'm glad to have it. I'm glad I picked it up for the price I got it for too. So I didn't pay a super bad price for it. So why not? Um, so there's your Mick Foley guys. Bang, bang. Let's get into the next figure, the one and the last one. Again, Kofi Kingston does not come with any other parts except for different referee hands. But we will add those to the figure and we'll build our ref in a second. All right, let's go on to Kofi. Here's your Kofi Kingston. The champ at WrestleMania last year, WrestleMania 35, he won the belt. He beat the new Daniel Bryan. Um, this year, he's doing he's doing good again. He's the champ again. He's a tag team champ. So let's go ahead and open him up. Again, this is the last one of the set. Kofi Kingston. Everyone loves Kofi. I don't think there's anybody that hates him. I think he's a great wrestler. I think he's great on the mic. He's funny. And he's lasted the stand of time from everybody else. Some people die off or fade away. But Kofi's still kicking. I think he's got a lot of years still left in him. So let's go ahead and open them, get them out the package. Guys, as always, let's start with the accessories. You get another championship belt if you don't have one already. Here you go. If you need a red one or a blue one, you can go ahead and customize these belts. Um, I posted on my Instagram, on RKO for Life 23 on Instagram. You'll see that I went ahead and made the blue uh, SmackDown belt for my Goldberg figure. Um, it came out pretty good. It's really easy. These plates pop off, and you can just paint the belt whatever color you want. So if you want to make some custom belts, there you go. There's a good tip for you. Um, here's the hands for the referee. So we'll put those to the side so we get ready to build that ref at the end of the video. And let's get into Kofi. And here's your Kofi figure. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Oh, man, he looks great. He's got some awesome details on this outfit. Um, his tattoos are on point. If you guys can see those in the back right there. He's got the tattoo on the arm. The hairstyle. It's kind of what he was rocking last year at WrestleMania. This year he has blonde hair, so who knows if they drop another Kofi figure. But outfit, shoes, boots, everything detail-wise is on point on this character. There you can kind of see the little details on the boots. Everything is looking real good. There's a unicorn right there. There's another Kofi picture right there. Um, this is a great outfit. Um, I think this is one of the best ones I've seen 
out of the Kofi's that have been out for a little while. Now the face scan, I don't know. It's a little off to me. I don't know. This face scan looks like the same one they used for the last couple of Kofi's. Let me know in the comments below. But it looks exactly the same as even the basic figure that came out. But this elite figure looks a lot better. He does have some slim arms. I know Kofi's not a big guy, but those arms are looking a little slim. I don't know if he's going to match up with the big heavyweights like Lesnar, which he lost the belt to. But here's your Kofi Kingston, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Great figure to add to the collection, and he looks awesome. One of my favorite characters out there, and I love the New Day. I love everything they do. Anything they do is gold. Um, we're still waiting for those ice cream pops that still haven't come out that they swore they was coming out. But uh, who knows? We got some WWE ice cream on the way anyway. All right, so there's Kofi. Let's go ahead and look at all our figures, and let's build that referee, and let's see what he looks like. Okay, guys, here's the ref. So let's go ahead and put them together real quick. So I guess we'll just snap that on. Is it as easy as that? It's not as easy as that. Let's see. Oh, okay. We had to turn it and swivel it around. Uh, let's go ahead and get them arms in there. Let's see. Is there a special way to do this? Nope. Just pop them in. I'm not an expert at taking parts off of the toys. Um, I know some people do take stuff apart and put them back together and make their own customs. Uh, this is a, my first time ever kind of looking at that, and it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and snap that head in. Oh, that was really hard to get on. I didn't want to break it. I'm going to go ahead and switch out those hands. We'll do one of those hands so we can kind of do a pin count. And let's take a look at them. How's the face scan, guys? Go ahead and let me know first. So let's go ahead and look at that. Um, the head is on. What do you guys think about that face scan? Is it on point? I think it looks pretty good. Uh, for someone we haven't seen in a long time, my memory's a little shaky to what he actually looks like unless I research him. Um, but I think the ref all around, just to get an extra figure, I I'm thinking that Mattel, and if you guys are watching, why aren't we getting a builder figure with every set that we get? We get like sets all the time with six figures. We can get easily a builder figure for somebody like old school or another ref or an announcer or Vince McMahon. Suggestions to WWE. Guys, watch this if you're watching. I think we need that. I think that's pretty cool. But here is our dangerous Danny, and he is the ref, and he's going to be in my collection. I'm going to put him up on the shelf as well. So let's look at everybody we got today. So we end up getting five figures out of this pack out of four, which is pretty awesome. And let's take a look at all of those together now. All right, guys, there goes your WrestleMania 36 Elite Collection. We have Kofi, we have Booker T, we have Matt Hardy, Woken Matt Hardy, we have Mick Foley, the legend, and we have the ref, Dangerous Danny. All right, so what do you guys think about this set? Go ahead and leave your comments below at the bottom. More videos to come, more unboxings to come. I still need to unbox my AJ Styles. I have, I'm looking at them right now, probably three, six in total that I want to unbox and put them on the shelf that we need to put out. And then after that, it'll just be some other pickups that I got in recently. So look out for those videos. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And let's put these guys on the, on the toy room wall and let's see how they're looking. I should have a nice little section for all of these. So let's go ahead and get those set up. Okay, guys, we're going to start with Kofi. We're going to put Kofi right over here. I know I have his belt backwards only because he likes to come out on stage like this. So I'm going to go ahead and leave him like that for now. There's our Kofi on our shelf. Let's get the next one. Okay, we got the five-time champion right over here. I'm actually going to give Booker T that WCW championship belt that Goldberg came with. Um, I have it somewhere, so I got to grab that and put that belt on him because I think that's going to be proper for him. There goes that Goldberg with that blue championship belt from SmackDown. It looks awesome. I think this figure is one of the best Goldbergs that I've seen out of all the elites. All right, let's get the next figure on the shelf. Here we go, Mick Foley. I'm going to put him up there. It's going to be kind of like, um, I guess, a legend shelf or wrestlers that don't wrestle anymore, except for obviously Kevin Owens. Um, so we got to move some people around up there. But for now, we got that up there. Mick Foley looking real nice on that shelf. Uh, that figure display is really good. Um, this collection's coming well pretty good, guys. This collection is only about two and a half months in. Um, and I've acquired some really nice things. A lot of stuff that's been just came out. But a lot of stuff that just came out is really good. All right, let's get our last figure on the shelf. Here we go. This guy's soon to be maybe at AEW. Maybe we'll get an AEW figure. That would be pretty awesome to put him on the shelf with the rest of the figures. And there we have our Mad Hardy, our Woken Hardy. We also have another Woken Hardy right there. And that's a network exclusive. And then we have that Mad Hardy version one, which I love that era of him. I think he was awesome back then. He was doing some good stuff. 
So there you go. What do you guys think about that? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up. And let's get our referee and let's just find a place for him somewhere. Okay, here's our ref. I really don't have anywhere to put him, so I'm going to go ahead and put him next to my custom AJ Styles that I'm not completed with yet. Obviously, I still got some work to do on there. So I do do some custom figures here and there. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, you probably haven't seen my Finn Balor and then my Seth Rollins, which is on my Instagram at RKO for Life 23 if you want to go up and follow. But there's our referee looking real good. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you soon.